Hello guys, I bring you a short video looking at the new dark mode in Pro Tools 2020.11.0. This dropped um, a couple of weeks ago, about a week and a half ago maybe. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't update my session at the time because you'd be a mug to update your Pro Tools if you are in the middle of a project. I've been caught out many a times by doing such things. But anyway, um, it looks pretty cool. Um, I like... I've used dark mode for quite some time. As you can see, the top here, my Pro Tools window um, is in dark mode. Um, if I bra drag, over, uh, drag over a finder window, um, I'm, you know, I've been existing in dark mode for quite some time um, on my phone as well. Um, and uh, if I've used an iPad or anything like that, it's been in dark mode. So I like it. Um, Anyone, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, will will we'll probably have picked up by now that I like the, uh, I do enjoy the darker side of life at times and the darker side of music and entertainment in general. So, kind of fits in with my, uh, with my, uh, you know, my outlook on life. No, it's alright. I'm not depressed all the time. But yeah, um, one thing I've seen is some people complaining that they don't like it and they want to go back and they want to revert. You know, they want to get away from it. Um, they're not enjoying it, whatever else. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I get it. If you've been using a piece of software for so long, then suddenly it looks completely black and dark. And perhaps if you have a bit more of a sunny disposition, um, you'd want it in the uh, in the classic. Guys, you just go Pro Tools Preferences, and it's literally the options are right there. UI theme, dark, classic. Then it will just want to restart to take you, you know, to, to, to basically uh, redo the UI into the classic mode. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I think those late night sessions, I think it's easier on your eye. And as you can see here, I mean, I'm just, all I'm doing is a very basic cut down of a session. Um, it's just a, a dark ambient cue. basically for a documentary um, i've been asked for some sort of just to, to produce some uh some sort of droney um you know horribleness um and i think the idea is that the network are going to use it to kind of show a piece of rock in space so uh yeah i'm just doing a couple of different versions of it basically some stings things like that so very simple session just to demo it to you guys but i think it looks great and i think if you're in those late night sessions and you're your eyes are getting a little tired from staring at the screen. It seems nicer to my eye anyway, um, in the in the darker mode. Um, if you bring up, if we create a, for example, if I do like a um, an instrument track, um, it's nice and quick, by the way, Pro Tools as well. It feels good. It feels uh, it feels nice. I like it. So if I just just gonna throw a note in here, just throw a few notes, um, and then we need to take it back into clips. Right. So if I open up the MIDI roll. You know, it just, it just look, you know, I suppose it takes it a little bit into that, um, you know, I always liked the colourfulness of Logic. Um, I always enjoyed um, the way it looked. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I I very much am uh, enjoying the uh, the colourfulness of the new Pro Tools. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to be enjoying looking for, I like this green at the top. Um, I think it looks cool. But if you don't like it, Pro Tools, preferences. Go back to classic mode and very simple to reverse kind of what they've done there. All right, guys, just a quick one for you today. I just wanted to jump back in and just say hello to you all. I hope you're keeping well um, and uh, keeping healthy and safe and enjoying making music, mixing music, mastering music, whatever it is you might be doing. All right, gang, see you next video. Bye-bye.